Welcome. Today we're going to be exploring the campaign map of Three Kingdoms and the motley crew of warlords that inhabit it. The Total War games are all about giving you the freedom to create your own stories in some of the most exciting periods in human history. Total War Three Kingdoms gives you more meaningful decisions than ever before on your quest to rule ancient China. In the beginning, the crumbling Han Empire dominate the campaign map. Their capitulation is opportunity for the other warlords of China. Expect to see different warlords wresting control of Han-owned territory in different playthroughs. Sun Zhan is well positioned to dominate southern China and hoover up the struggling Han Empire that once ruled the south unchallenged. His playstyle incentivizes aggression. Warlords across the entirety of China will surely have to deal with the Tiger of Zhangdong sooner or later. Will you make a beeline to the south and try to take his place as the king of southern China? Or perhaps looking to befriend him is a safer choice? After all, if he thinks of you as an ally, he may defend his borders with less vigilance. The center of the map can be an extremely inhospitable place to be, with conflicts flaring up almost every turn. Survival here may require a more duplicitous approach. The master manipulator Cao Cao has a grudge to settle with Tao Chen, with rumors circulating of his part in the murder of Cao Cao's father. Will he put his grudge to the side and plot his path to emperorship, or shelve his destiny for early vengeance? Liu Biao is another who approaches the hostility of central China with a more considered approach. He finds himself at the center of a conflict between Sun Zhan and Yuan Shao, and must use all his guile to navigate the minefield of threats that surround him. His more peaceful approach could lead many to think of him as an easy target, but his preference for peace makes him an ideal ally, which often leads to a variety of powerful friends in his corner. Half-brothers Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu, descendants of the lofty Yuan dynasty, can use the power of their family name to form alliances from turn one, unlike other factions. Their sibling rivalry puts them on a collision course with each other. Choose carefully whose side you will take. Meanwhile, in the East, another who utilizes his intelligence and analysis over pure brute force is Kong Rong. His playstyle complements a tall, trade-focused path to power with his unique ability to exert trade monopolies over other factions. However, subjugating him, by force or by friendship, can turn any cash-strapped faction into a financial powerhouse. An early dilemma will create a fork in the road for Kong Rong. Will you dig in and consolidate his power or join his old friend, Liu Bei, to rule China together? Liu Bei has humble beginnings, starting with zero settlements, but bags of potential to tear through China, uniting it one province at a time. If he is able to establish a stable power base, there are mountains of options for progressing his dynasty. Another massive player is, of course, the tyrant Dong Zhuo. His infinite cruelness has put him in a position of extreme power. His capture of the child emperor means the Han Empire are his vassal. Even in their dilapidated state, they do dominate the map in the early game. These factors put a massive target on his back. His death and the ensuing civil war this causes has earth-shattering consequences across the campaign map. His only ally, Ma Tong, protector of the West, must decide whether associating with the power wielded by Dong Zhuo is worth the enemies that brings as he tries to overcome the harsh conditions of his region to control the riches of the Silk Road. In the north, Gong Xuanzan's progression is guided by his decision to either beat down his old rival or appease Yuan Shao, creating a mighty partnership between two powerhouses. Gong Xuanzan's start position and traditional militaristic style make an excellent first playthrough for those still acclimatizing to the rigors of ancient China. Conversely, the nearby bandits, Zheng Zhang and Zhang Yan, feature some of the most difficult start positions in a Total War game, as they try to paint the map their color without sacrificing what made them outlaws in the first place. It's the most ambitious Total War to date, where your choices and decisions shape a world that is teeming with life. Now you've seen the campaign map, tell us in the comments, how will you rule China?